Hey, kid, man, I'm really digging this, man. We should do more stuff together. Man, you done read my mind, Snoop. Hanging out with you would be dope. I mean, think about this. We could play tennis. I got a country club. We go there. We could probably pop off a lot of games, probably mm -hmm. hustle people. Uh, family time, because I know you got a big family. I got one. I got a bedazzle machine. You into bedazzling things? Like remote controls, jackets? We could do stuff like that. <laughs> be nah, cool. Okay, but I just, man, we should do another show. And three, two, one. Yeah, I, I just misread your energy on that one. Welcome to Olympic Highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kevin Hart. And I am really feeling this blazer today. We should head over to the club. Maybe the Yacht Club. Yacht Club, you know what? You should be feeling that blazer. Snoop, every day you impress me more. Look at you, looking all polished and shiny. Get in there then, Unc. Hit him with it. Hit him with it, Unc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it again, Unc. Pose one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, you know our show is finally airing and the reviews are coming in. Let's take a look at a live look at people's reaction from watching Olympic highlights with Kevin and Snoop. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Look at him. Going crazy. Flip flopping. Look at him. Flip flopping in hip hop. Look at him. Kevin and Snoop. Kevin and yeah, Snoop. Kevin, look at yeah. Snoop. Look Woo. at Snoop and Kev. Okay, well, look, full disclosure, Snoop. Those people were actually the family and friends of American swimmer Lydia Jacoby back in her hometown of Seward, Alaska, where Snoop and I have a tremendous fan base. We yeah, talked we about do. it the other day. I, I got about 100 fans yeah, out there. They go up in Seward, Alaska. Yeah, that's, where they, that's where they twerk hard. Here's a couple fun facts about Lydia Jacoby. Um, she's the first person from Alaska to win a gold in summer, Snoop. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That's big, man. There was only one... 50-meter pool in Alaska. Um, so she had a disadvantage to even begin with as far as with her training to even get to the Olympics. Well, you know, when we drop a fact like that, uh, you know, some people are like, what? Oh, my God. Not me. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not shocked at that at all. Like, that's I, <laughs> I actually would expect there to be only one 50-meter <laughs> pool in Alaska. There's, there's a lot of things that there's only one of in Alaska. <laughs> uh, to get things going, let's highlight some of the big medal winners during the Olympic Games. It's time for our favorite segment, Tokyo Bling. Bling, 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 bling. Snoop, I really do love this segment. Kind of gets me going. Me too. We just saw the reaction from her friends and family. Well, now let's watch 17-year-old U.S. swimmer Lydia Jacoby earn her first Olympic gold medal in a 100-meter breaststroke in the major upset. Let's go. Jacoby up there in lane three. Challenging you better dip, 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 in breaststroke, it's all about the finish. When you come here, right, when you're here, it's about to reach out there. So for her, she saw she was neck and neck. I see you, Snoop, mm -hmm. so we're in the race together. Oh, you still up here, I'm gonna go here. You see so what I'm saying? So that's where you beat me at, because yeah. I gotta get yeah, to you, that. You still up here. Right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's where I'm at. Oh, right? and touched what? the wall. Yeah, now I got to the wall. That's how she did it, man. Shouts out to you, Lydia. That was nice. For doing it in a major way. Congrats to you, congrats to Alaska. This isn't from the U.S., but it was too cool to not share. Filipino weightlifter... Hitlin. Hitlin Francisco Diaz took home not only her first gold, but the first gold ever to the Philippines. Wow. Let's take a look. Silver in Rio. Oh, 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 oh. oh now, watch me, it. Me and you know what that feels yeah. like. Whoa, watch it. That's oh, strength. That's strength, oh, kid. Man. That's strength. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she oh. got that. Oh, my gosh. She got that. Oh, my gosh. You know how hard that is, kid. You, no, no, Me no. and you both be in the gym. No, no, Snoop. Well, first of all, you can see by our body types, this is what we do. Hello. OK? Uh, that is extremely impressive. Her clean and jerk was 493 pounds. Uh, Snoop, I don't so know. So she could have lifted me and you up at the same time. Well, that means that she only did 175. <laughs> uh, we're talking about 493, four, 493 pounds, man. All right, listen, the U.S. also has success on the shooting range. Vincent Hancock, the two-time defending champ, took home his third consecutive gold in men's skeet shooting. Skeet Let's take shoot? A look. Hold on, skeet? Not what you're thinking, Snoop. Not what you're oh, thinking. Skeet, skeet, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, skeet, skeet. Look at this. <laughs> 
Oh, that's accurate right I've always right been there. so impressed by this, man. It was a game called Duck Hunt back in the game that was similar to this. You talking about uh, on Nintendo? Yeah, you remember yeah. that? You, but I would cheat. I would go up to the TV. Yeah, put your shit right on the screen. Just start shooting right there. <laughs> Wow. Look at Grandpa. <laughs> Who's who the uh, who a man with three mustaches? Did you see that? Oh, my God. Hey, Luigi. No, that's Luigi, not Mark. Oh, my God. What uh, the hell? Congrats to all. Gold medals in skeet shooting. I got a couple of means gold medals in skeet shooting, but not that kind okay, of well, skeeting. Yeah, well, but skeet. I do skeet skeet. OK, he's a, he's all a, skeet skeet, he's, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't normally talk about women's skeet shooting. Oh, wow, what a segue after that. <laughs> <laughs> but American underdog Amber English set a new Olympic record, hitting 56 out of 60 clays to claim her first gold. Another gold for America. Good job. Damn, she popped God, quick. Damn. You see that? I don't want to speak for you, but I didn't see a damn thing. How did she see any of <laughs> it? Did you see anything I in the sky? On, I got on reading glasses. All I seen was purple powder puff <laughs> yeah. every time she yeah. put the gun in there. And I, and I watched it. I watched it again. <laughs> Nothing, Snoop. I don't see it. Got the, where is it coming from? She. Oh, I seen it. I seen it. You saw it. That motherfucker came like a UFO. Yeah. <laughs> she hit it. It came from the side like yada. Da. <laughs> Congratulations, Amber, yeah. on another goal. Yeah. And that completes this segment of Tokyo Bling. Bling, 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 bling. The game's are always full of wild moments, and boy, do we have some for you. Check out this highlight from Egypt versus Denmark in Team Handball. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, facial. oh, no. That's a facial. Oh, no. Oh, no. Take that, motherfucker! Oh, no. Oh, no. No, that's, and that's one of them, that's one of them hits where you can't see after. Uh -uh. Like, you know, when you see white and everybody like, check ball, you're like, hold up, hold up. Yeah, just hold up, man. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> hold yeah. up. Come on, man, check ball, cuz. Hold, no, hold, hold, hold up. Hold up, man. I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't see, see, man. Wait. What's wrong? What you mean, what's wrong? You saw what he just did? Motherfucker threw the whole ball in my face. Yeah, and those two handball players, they actually exchanged a few words after the throw. I speak Danish, so um, I kind of like know what the goalkeeper was saying to him. That's crazy that you say that because I actually speak Arabic, so I know what the guy who threw the ball said. Well, run that clip back so we can translate for the people. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let, let's translate this actual moment. You know say, why man. I threw that ball at you. You know why. why? I heard what you said about my mother. Man, fuck you and everybody in your family. Who you talking you, you, My you, family? I, I, I put my finger in your yeah, face. Don't put your face. Don't try I to touch, touch your my back. back too. Fuck don't your try back. To, yeah, the, I'll these slap cameras your shit wasn't up. rolling. Uh, you they know what? Left. Left. Yeah, left. Fuck out of here. No respect. Bye. Yeah. That's what actually, actually, uh, <laughs> it has to be personal because you can't directly hit anybody in the face with an object that hard uh, by accident. <laughs> it's, there's, there's no world where it's an accident. And, and if we can play the clip back, I want to show you how I know it was on purpose. Watch the spread eagle and the paws in the air. Pause it! There's a pause in the air to make sure that the face was open, OK? <laughs> he could have hit that net, Snoop. You Easy. Me? He got all kind of He action. got all type of space right there to throw that ball in the net. That was a ground attack that was personal. The goal was not important. Uh, in men's boxing, Morocco's Eunice uh, Batla, by the way, and I'm getting much better with names. You are. I Eunice like Batla. Because I wasn't going to help you with this well, shit. Well, I've been studying. I've been studying, Snoop. Uh, he attempted to bite the air or cheek of anything he could find on the face of New Zealand's David Nikai. Watch this, Snoop. Mm -hmm. Come here, come here. Oh, he bit come him, cuz. Hey, Who do you think he is, Wait, come Tyson? Here. Come here, huh? Yeah. I told you, stop hitting me in the body. Hmm? Yeah, come here. Ah! Yeah, come here. Ah! I'm they ain't feeding us over here. I'm hungry. By the way, by the way, where's mouthpiece at? Snoop, you can't bite. Don't you got a mouthpiece in your mouth? Man, he had grill on neck. Somewhere, somewhere Mike Tyson is happy. He's like, finally, somebody else did. I love you, Mike. Come on, don't don't don't, don't, don't run up on me, Mike. Come on, man. I just it's just a joke. You gotta do this. After you say something to Mike, you gotta go, come on, Mike. I'm serious. <laughs> come, on. come on, Mike. I'm just bullshitting. Don't Leave do that alone. to me. Come Leave on. him alone, Mike. That's the homie. And check this out. During the gold medal round for men surfing, the Talo Ferraro surfboard literally snaps in half on a wave. Check it out. Driving on this left. 
Oh! oh. He's dead. Where is he? He's dead. He's got to be. I don't even see him. Oh, up there's no. the board. No, there. man. <laughs> By the way, it's never a good sign when a board pop up like that and you don't see the person. Yeah, the board just... <laughs> By the way, you know they say it was a typhoon. Like, that's why the waves are so big. And they went and surfed in that condition because it gave them better waves. Who the fuck surfs in the typhoon? Well, I'll tell you who does it. Black people. Do we have any footage... Do we have any footage of any black surfer that still went? As a matter of fact, this just in, every black surfer called out after they found out that the, that the typhoon was actually active. There, was, there were no black surfers that got on a Delta Airlines flight from New York to Tokyo. No way. No, sir. Uh, guys, we'll be right back with more <laughs> Olympic highlights after this. Welcome back to Olympic highlights here on Peacock. Now, we are knee deep in the Olympics, and it's hard to keep up with all the lingo with all these sporting events. I can dig that. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep your head and your mouth in the game. That's right. It's time once again for Olympic Cheat Sheet. I love this. Because I feel like the people need it, Snoop. You they need know. to know what to say. You need to know how to participate. Gymnastics, well, they're in full swing. And while, while they are all jumping and flying everywhere, the men's and women's events are totally different. Different events different terminology, and different equipment. All right, literally, Snoop, look, while cheering on the male gymnasts on the pommel horse, you can yell, that guy did all flair and no scissors. Yo, did you see that? That fool did all flair with no scissors. But Snoop, we can't just give him this information and not tell him what it means. What does it mean? That means the guy did a bunch of leg circle swings but didn't do any intercuts. He didn't do any intercuts. I mean, look, the fact that I got to explain this to y'all frustrates me, because I would think that you would know. If you were watching male gymnasts and somebody's on a pommel horse, <laughs> all flare is an easy thing to see. That means that I'm out here flaring, okay? So, so if I'm flaring, I can't do scissors at the same time. I'm just giving y'all the logic that you should have. Flared up. Here's something that you can say while watching the men on the rings. He held his Maltese longer than his iron cross. Let me try that. <clears throat> he held his Maltese longer than his iron cross. See, what that mean is, Kev, he held his arm straight down on the ring longer than he held them to his side. I mean, the fact that we even got to break this down, Snoop. But they didn't get it. I, I had know, to... but the fact that we got to explain it, it's common sense. Yeah, but some people didn't understand what the Maltese was. Well, they thought it was like a malt liquor Why or do we got to explain that? Why because... do we got to explain it? Why do we got to take the time out of our day to hit you with what you should know? But everybody watching don't understand. What, what, what is this? This is obviously a Maltese. What else would this mean? I don't know. Yeah, but, I mean, come this on, could man. Be the, I don't know. Come on, if I'm here, if I'm here with it, I'm Maltesing. If I'm here, I'm Iron Crossing. It's common sense, man. It's common sense. Right. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that they understand, but sometimes it makes me a little upset. Let's move on to women's gymnastics. The U.S. women won silver in the team event. Well, now they're going to be competing individually, and guess what? You don't want to confuse your balance beam terms with your bolt terms. Yeah. This ain't amateur hour. This is the Olympics. That's exactly what it is. The Olympics. If you want to confuse those two things, then you need to take your ass down to the YMCA and watch those kids when they compete. This is the big leagues. So if you're going to be here, know the correct terminology. While cheering on the women on the balance beam, one of the balance beam terms that you can say is, that wolf turn had no amplitude. That wolf turn had no amplitude. Snoop, can you, can you just tell them what it means, please? Come close. That means your squat turn had no degree of difficulty whatsoever. Oh my God. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Avi. Avi. Right? Avi. 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 If, if, we, if we're saying that that wolf turn had no amplitude, what is amplitude? Let's break that down. Huh? Amplitude is what? You know what it is, so I shouldn't have to tell you. Yeah. Now, your wolf turn is what? If a wolf get angry and he turns around, how does he turn? You never seen a wolf turn? Huh? You never seen a wolf? <laughs> you never seen a wolf angry turn like that and look at you? It's obviously what it is. Here's another one. While watching woman's floor exercise, you can say stuff like this. She's going to get a deduction for that baroni. She's going to get a deduction for that baroni. Explain it to the people, Snoop. That means that she's going to get points off because she didn't execute a front flip into a half twist. Which is a baroni. Everybody knows that's a baroni, and it's unacceptable. If I'm a judge, let me tell you how pissed I am. If I put you in a position and you don't execute your half twist, deduction! Deduction! 
The one thing you gotta nail is the baroni. If you don't, I'm gonna send your ass home crying every day. Just Cause I'm like deducting her. from you. Yep. I'm deducting from you. I know what the hell a baroni is. 8.5. <laughs> <laughs> The bad men finals are coming up, and here's some things that you can say while watching. First thing is this. He didn't flick that shuttlecock hard enough. He didn't flick that shuttlecock hard enough. Snoop, can you break it down and tell me what it means, please? That means you tap the badminton birdie too softly, and it didn't go over the net. Everybody knows you don't tap no badminton birdie soft like that. You got to hit it. Hit it. OK? Nobody want to sit up here wasting time watching the shuttlecock not fly the way it's supposed to. If you're going to tap that birdie, give it all you got and hit that cock. All right, let's keep it going. Here's another one. This rally better end with a smash. This rally better end with a smash. Explain it to the people, Snoop. This back and forth is going on too long and someone needs to spike the shuttlecock over the neck and end this motherfucking bullshit. Yeah, end it, man. Don't nobody want to sit there for 30 minutes watching that birdie go... Smash it just like we smashed this segment. Snoop, that is it for yeah. Cheat Sheet. We smashed the hell out of this thing, man. We'll be right back with more Olympic highlights on Peacock after Peacock. this. Peacock. Welcome back. I shouldn't have to say this, but I'll say it anyway. Snoop and I are getting pretty good at this Olympic stuff. Mm. Snoop, wouldn't you say the same thing? Man, I'm more confident than Ira Brown at a Japanese urinal. If you watched our last show, you'll get that joke. You definitely would get that joke. Now, to prove how good we're getting at calling these highlights, we're going to call a highlight cold. The producers have pulled some clips from the Olympics, and we don't know what sport it is or what event it has to do with it. We'll watch it, and we'll call it like we see it. You know, I'm down for that, so let's do a cold call. Throw up one of those cool title cards. Pop up. Roll that clip. OK. Two sets of Speedos. OK, here we go. Oh, they must be twerk. twin. It's twin. It's twerking. Maybe some synchronized. I think it's synchro synchronized. Is it synchronized? Yeah, they're doing it together. Okay. Synchronized. Watch. Here we go. Together, right. together. You ready? Okay, together. yeah, let's do it. One, One two, two, three. three. You get here. Ooh, underwater, we talk right here. Good job, good job. And yeah, I'm choking yep. the shit out yeah. of them. By the way, Let him go. that was too close. They need to relax. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Yeah, all right, man. We don't hug okay. like that, homie. All right, we gotta man. turn sideways. That's enough, man. That was uh, synchronized diving, okay. From the top of it, I didn't know what it was, though. I'll be honest with you. I knew it was synchronized diving just because they had the same drawers on them. I, when they... I thought it was pop locking. I thought they was about to pop lock it first. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was a beat was about to drop. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> okay, all right, that was an easy one. Come on, let's do another one. Horses, I like this. This is equestrian. This is they prancing. Call this, they prancing. call this equestrian. By the way, look at that horse. Did you? Oh, the horse crip walking, cuz. You see that? <laughs> on the set. <laughs> That's gangsters of up. Hey! Oh, 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 look at this, girl. Oh, come on, man. This horse is off the chain. I got to get this motherfucker in the video, girl. Oh, you said... <laughs> you oh, my God. Snoop said I got to put the horse in the video. This motherfucker's off the chain. I need that. Horse crip walking is officially in the Olympics. Man, you see that? Play it one more time, man. You got to see that. That intro play, walk was play cold. Play it one more time. Play, play it one more time so we can see it. <laughs> West Coast. <laughs> By the way, how did the horses get to Tokyo? What airline was it? Emirates? They fly That's the expensive. horses on... expensive. They fly the horses on Emirates? And the athletes on Southwest? You know, the problem is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Do the horses get medals when they win, too, or, or they don't get medals? That's a good question, Snoop. I've never seen a horse with a medal. Do they? No, it goes to the person on the horse, which should be changed. He ain't did nothing but just sat, sat on the motherfucking and went for the ride. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see that jockey do any type of crip walk just now. Just stayed on for the ride, just. You didn't have your ankles taped. The horse did. <laughs> I demand for a horse to get the respect that they deserve, have the same bragging rights as the jockey. You start to hang a medal on these horses' neck, so when they get around the other horses, they can <laughs> and show the other horse. <laughs> you don't think a horse want to brag? I want to brag too, bitch. Look at what I got. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> they get back there in the stall. Look at y'all naked neck asses. They ain't got nothing. <laughs> Hood, look at me over here, <laughs> shining. I'm over here shining on y'all. That is all we got for Cold Calls. What an amazing segment. Snoop, I think that's when going to stick. Play the title card. Our first guest is the host of the Amber Ruffin Show on Peacock. Joining us live from Tokyo, 
You guessed it, it's the homegirl, Amber Ruffin. Hey, Amber. Hey, guys, how's it going? Oh, it's going good, Amber. Let me just start off by saying, come by, why? You know, being that this is the Olympics, we're live from Tokyo, I felt the need to show you my Japanese is really shining these days. So once oh, wow. again, gone by why? She didn't know what I said. I know she didn't. I she didn't either. Speak. I'm trying to figure this shit out. She too. don't speak oh, Japanese. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, okay. Now, I took Japanese in high school. Hi. Hi. Are you putting it to use while you're in Tokyo? My four sentences? Absolutely. You're getting it in there with your four sentences. So tell me exactly, Amber, what are you doing in Tokyo? What's going on? I am lucky enough to have been sent to Tokyo by Peacock so that I can run around and bother people who are trying to do serious work. No, I get to come out here and interview people and have fun with them. Like the other day, I went skateboarding with Tony Hawk. You lean forward on this foot more. There you go. Yay! You ready to watch? I know there's no fans allowed there, but have you, have you been, like, actually able to go to the events? Yes, we got to go to two events. We got to go to beach volleyball, which was excellent. And we also got to go to women's skateboarding, which was honestly terrifying. Really? Why? It's yes. death defying. It's what? death defying, that's right. These children, and I'm, I said children, they're 13, flipping, flopping, falling, smacking, and hurting. And getting that, right back up and going right back to it, because they love, yeah. they love their sport. Well, also, you got to understand, your bones are different at that age. I mean, Snoop, you know, we were yeah, at Yeah, milk point, does a body good at that age. At you that age, you can, you can break a bone and you back in two weeks. You know, those falls are fun at that time. Right now, where I'm at, if you mm. tell me to jump off this desk, I'm gonna tell you, wait a minute, like, what are we doing? Like, what, <laughs> for what? Like, I, I need to know why y'all want me to do that stunt. This is a full-fledged stunt A full-fledged yeah. stunt. It's different, though. They scared the mess out of me. Amber, what's your favorite uh, Olympic sport to watch? Gymnastics. Wow. I'm just like everybody else. I used to coach gymnastics, actually, when I was a young, healthy person. So you know how to do a backflip? A young me does know how to do a back. Amber, you keep saying young me as if you're like 75 or something. Stop <laughs> with the with the added stuff so we can give you a compliment and say, no, Amber, you don't look. Oh, you look young as you know you look good. So stop with the a young me. Stop it, Amber. If I'm like, oh, I'm 75, then you have to go, oh, really? All right. Well, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, let's cut the shit. Amber, are you 75 years old? I am 75 years old. <laughs> okay, well, you look fine. 75-year-old, yeah. I have a You look amazing. Eyes, you look amazing. <laughs> are you partying? Are you drinking every night? What are you doing, Amber? No one loves a drink more than I do. Whoa. But here at the Amber hotel, just told, told on herself, I didn't know she? she likes to get she busy. She came out and told on herself. Okay, okay, Amber, we know okay. how you get out. All right, Amber. I love a drink. Can't nobody out drink me. I'm the drinkingest mug there has ever been. Uh, One serious uh, question, though, Amber. Do they have <laughs> anything over there that I like? Uh, I have not seen anything that you like over here. You know what I like? I mean, I'm gonna guess I know what you like. <laughs> yes, sir. I have not seen hide nor hair nor sniff of it. Very discreet, by the way, Snoop. No one knew what that was. Uh... <laughs> That's sign language in the hood, girl. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> so coaching gymnastics, that was uh, something that you did in your past. And of course, because of that, you follow. Right now, who are you following? Who are you looking forward to seeing? In women's gymnastics, I'm looking forward to seeing Sunisa Lee. Now, we had uh, Simone Biles drop out. Uh, she dropped out of the teams, but she also dropped out of the women's all around. So she's all the way out now. So now we're and... only going to win a silver medal now. That's what you're saying, basically. We ain't going <laughs> to get the gold. Well, you know what, Snoop? That opens up the field for the star of tomorrow. Somebody will step up. But in the meantime, and as Snoop would say, in the between time, we're going to support <laughs> our sister and just say we don't know what it is that you're going through, but we stand with you. And it's about you and your mindset and your mental. So yes. I hope she's in a great place, yes. man. I really do. We're praying and, for uh, you, Simone. Amber, thank you for checking in with us. I mean, look, it's our job to keep people in the know what's going on and we can't be in a know at the highest level without somebody like you that's on the ground. And congrats, congrats on your show at Peacock. We want to make sure that people understand why they should watch, and it's because of you. Your personality is insane. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you, Amber, for spending time with us and uh, keep that smile on your face. Keep you some Afro shame so your thing can be together. Keep you a pick. There you go. Yes, there you go. Woo! And we'll be back with more Olympic high lights. Take it easy, Amber. 
Welcome back to Olympic Highlights. Skateboard made its Olympic debut in Tokyo, and the U.S. brought home the bronze in street skateboarding. Check out Jagger Eaton winning the hardware. Let's go, Jagger! Hey, get in there, Jagger. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Get in there, Jagger. Give me that ollie. Ah. Yada. Hit it. Bang. Woo. Ah. Ollie. Uh. Bang, bang. Ah. Oh, no. Uh. Get ah. it. <clears throat> Backside. Roses. Smile. Hair did. Ready to win. Straight from Tokyo, welcome Jagger Eaton. First and foremost, congratulations, man. I saw you out there getting it. I saw a heel toe kick. I saw an alley. I saw you do a, a top tap toe, right? <laughs> uh, what was the name of some of those tricks? Just, just for clarity for Snoop and Ox. Uh, we had a switch back wing nose grind and a backside flip nose grind are the tricks that you guys saw in the finals. A back nose what grind? Backside flip nose grind. It's, it's, it's a hard flip one. Nose. It's a hard one to get. Well, let's, but, uh, well, let's yeah. crack the code that everybody wants cracked. Who is naming the tricks? Who's Thanks. responsible <laughs> for naming the tricks, Jagger? This is what we need to know. Oh, all the pioneers of skateboarding are responsible. I feel like the progression of skating is just going so fast, it's hard to even put a name to some of the tricks. Like, the tricks that Yuto did, mm -hmm. the Japanese kid who won, those are, like, his tricks now. Really? Like, he labeled those. They're, he coined they're just his now. That's good. Yeah, uh, well, wild. how does it feel, man? I mean, you got a bronze medal, dude. Oh, man, I just feel great, you know? I can't even put in words. I've had this dream for a while now, and, uh, you know, to make it happen, I'm just stoked. So what are you going to do with that medal, and where are you going to put it at? Because that's like pride possession right there. <laughs> yeah, with this medal, I don't have a house yet, <laughs> and I don't have really anywhere I can put it, so I'm going to give it to my mom. Well, moms. you know what? You can yeah. just leave it at my house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be both of us. There you Whenever go. Whenever you want to come by and <laughs> see it and visit it, I'll make it available. <laughs> Jagger, we do know the skateboarders listen to music. Why you guys are out there doing your thing, what was your particular music of choice? The music I was listening to, it was Say like, Snoop Dogg. It was some new rap and some old country music. Say Snoop Dogg. But hey, there was, no, for real. Jagger, not Snoop, lying. There was one is a rapper, Jagger. old rap song on there, and it was nothing but a G thing. Oh, and I was, right. I was yeah, getting down there. there. You go. I was getting come down on, to okay, it. Now. Up. I was getting down I feel like it. a Temptations now. <laughs> there was one old rap song on there. There was only one. My there girl. Was straight up only one. By the Temptations. <laughs> so, Jagger, when you guys go out there and you do a trick and you fall, and then you get back up, you're on the board, and they do the trick again, and they fall. With each fall, you kind of know that you're sinking a little bit. Is that the hardest thing to get through for a lot of these skaters as they're competing? Yeah, especially in Japan, you know, especially on that stage with the heat, it was really gnarly. Like, everybody was kind of falling. Everybody was going through the same thing. Mm. What athletes at this level are really good at doing is turning negatives into positives. You know, we just needed four scores. We had seven tries to do it, and I feel like, you know, most of them did that. You did. You know, the they killed thing. it, man. Jagger. Do you listen to Mick Jagger? Uh, I do. I listen to a little bit of Rolling Stones. Not lying. Like... You lying, Jagger? No, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. lying. He's a total I'm not lying. Lie. Straight up, I'm not lying. I Tell listen to a little bit. The devil. Dude, it's so hard for me to listen to rock music while I skate. Though I need something to like get me like jamming. Like Old I need stuff. I need yeah. You said, <laughs> so, you said jamming. I, I need, ahead, I need a head bop. Like yeah. I need to like I need some rhythm yeah. and stuff. So yeah. okay, well, Stones rock ain't got hard. rhythm. You heard that? You heard that? Hip hop got all the rhythm. Thank you, Jagger. I appreciate you for hip -hop. stepping in. Hip -hop. <laughs> Most definitely. Jagger, it would be a disservice if me and Snoop had you on this show and we didn't actually get to see you do a trick in person. As guys who aren't familiar with street skateboard. Well, we come from the skateboard world. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not the same. See, what he don't know was we was around when the skateboard was created. That is true. First that is one. true. You know what I'm we were around the wooden. Thank I, don't know, you. I don't even think he's seen you don't the even first know board. About you don't know nothing about the thick board. Nothing. With no flimsy in it, just and straight hard. The wheels that never broke. The wheels that <laughs> the wheels that never broke. Yeah. Well, you, you don't know about those wheels. No, that's so, what we should have had him do a trick on. I bet he couldn't do a trick on that I know board. He can. I will gladly try to do something. You'll oh, break your goddamn neck on a skateboard <laughs> from 74. Ain't no way in hell. It's on you. Take the lead, Jack. All right, all right. We're gonna watch you when we get all the space you need. Cause we don't want to I'm definitely gonna fall if I do it with this. Jack, are they skate pants? <laughs> these, these are skate pants, yeah, that's why they're ripped. Skate pants. Everywhere. I hold your metal. You got it? You yeah, got I got it. it. All right, all right. It's heavy, ain't it? All right, oh. it's on you. <laughs> all right. It's on you, Jagger. Ah! Shit. That's nice. That's real that's nice. nice. Right, let's see if I can do a trade flip. Right oh, 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 what's that called? That was a trade flip. Spin, twip, fly. Close. That was gangster. I would have named that motherfucker to hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jagger, before we wrap up, man, do y'all tap? That was a big thing for us in the hood where we grew up. On the West Coast, we call it Tic Tac. We don't. Nah. We don't Tic Tac. No, we don't Tic Tac. That's, that's where it was originated. Nah, watch out, man. No, nah, you don't. Okay. You don't okay. know what you're doing, man. Tic Tac right. for him, Kev. You don't know, you you don't know what you're doing, man. Tic Tac for him, Kev. 
I mean, your take out here is not really going anywhere, but you're you definitely take out. Anywhere. In the hood, my homie Reg, that's how he used to stand on the corner. He got all the girls, because he would talk to the girl like, what we on tonight? You hanging out tonight? And the girl was like, oh, Reg is dope. He like, you trying to hang out? I'll see you when I see you. You see what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, OK? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys, I got some, I got some boards for y'all. Yeah, most these definitely. These are your own boards? Yeah, these, these are mine. Uh, Thank I want y'all to, yeah, man, Can I get a push most time? definitely. Oh, man. Snoop, don't you do it. Snoop, not in those shoes. Don't do it in those shoes. <laughs> in the um, you look too good. Um, let's <laughs> all right, all right, we're going to yeah. leave it there. Yeah, let's this wrap This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Yeah, there you go. Let's yeah. wrap up out of here, Snoop. We're going to do that. OK. You better know it. Yeah. That's our show. We want to thank our special guest, Jagger Eaton. Yes, sir. Amber yes. Ruffin. Without our guests, we are nothing. Without our fans, we are definitely nothing. Thank you guys for watching. Me and Unk do what we do best, and that's be ourselves. Right here on Peacock. Keep it locked. We'll catch you next time when we hey, live. Thank you, Jagger. Appreciate it. So dope, man. Most definitely, man. That so was dope. so fun.